This Christmas season, surprise, surprise, we're returning to that holiday classic, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And what I find amazing is having worked on this year after year, is that each set of actors brings something really new. They find a different interpretation, and I find new things in the text. And that's partly because the story that Charles Dickens wrote is so strong. In addition to these guys here, there's also a whole group of young artists that are joining us, a local ensemble of young students who are working with our professional core actors um, to make this piece come to life. I would say one of the best things about working with the kids on this show is the fact that you get reminded as a professional actor how excited you were at that age to be a professional actor. And there's nothing like that. But when the kids arrive, they are so excited. Often they're performing for their own peers from their own schools. And so they have the energy of a thousand actors. And we are able to just sort of ride their coattails and enjoy it through their eyes. It's, it's really lovely. Um, I, I, going on top of what Steven said, it's, it's a delight to work with the local community, um, especially with so many young imaginative minds and energies. Uh, and I think that theater cannot exist without the local community. It's a very symbiotic relationship. We need their support, we need their ideas, we need their inspiration. So without that, we, we wouldn't exist. We'd be operating in a bubble. What's fun is Katie is the newest member to Portland Stages uh, theater community, and uh, as is the rest of the cast as far as working on A Christmas Carol. They've all worked here before at various times. Um, I'm the old timer. I've done Christmas Carol 12 times, mm -hmm. and there is something about doing this with the kids that, and doing it for Portland. Uh, I was saying that it, it, it is my gift in a way to the Portland community because I can't give much of anything to people out there, but I can share my talent and make them feel good and feel right about this message about uh, hope, redemption, especially in these times and the holidays. But there's something about the kids. Uh, every year I've worked with amazing children that have gone on to become professional actors or just work in the greater Portland community of theater. and. I still get notes of thank you uh, that you, you, and you, and so and so helped inspire me from a Christmas Carol, and that feels good. It really feels good. Well, as Daniel was saying, Portland Stage has run this production of Christmas Carol for many years, and as a resident of Portland, I've had the opportunity to see it a number of times. And it's always exciting to see how the show grows and evolves from year to year, and I'm very, very excited to be a part of that show now and with this wonderful group and thrilled to be able to show the residents of Portland all the work that we've done to bring that show this year. And you know, I have not seen Christmas Carol here in Portland before, but I have seen a number of productions. This is a story that I've loved since I was a kid. And I, I think part of what makes a classic a classic is that it's one of the stories that we never get tired of hearing. It doesn't matter if it was written in the 1840s or the 1940s or 2014. Uh, this story will always resonate. It's always fresh. It always applies to the way that we live our lives today. Um, and what I love in particular about the adaptation that we do here at Portland Stage is that it's, it's the truest that I have seen to the Dickens text. They really pull it straight from the text. So it's still fresh, it's still exciting, but it's the way that he would have written it and spoken it in 1843 when he did it back then. So it's a, it's a really nice way to make something old, new, and applicable. It's really fun to be a part of. Yeah, I, I think having Dickens' text to play with is, is really a, a privilege. Uh, playing Scrooge uh, is uh, one of the opportunities of a lifetime. It's really a chance to have a, a tour de force uh, Op opportunity to, to, to talk to people and give them everything from Scrooge being this horribly dark person who you could meet today who's only concerned about his business and his finances and has no time uh, except the fact that he pays his taxes to tell you anything and to be completely reborn by the visitation of these different spirits who come into his life in one night uh, and then come out the end of it a, a new person is uh, the story of, should be the story of every man. And, uh, and that's how I feel uh, when I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. I feel privileged 
to be able to say that over and over again every time you do it. Uh, and this is my first try at it after seeing it done here at Portland for a low these uh, 17 years. I'm getting a shot at it, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think the kids will really respond to it because it's a, a ghost story, and I think there's a great deal of, uh, of humor, uh, and they've got the kids on stage to relate to, to who are their, their a ages. We've got teeny little kids on stage who are making their marks like professionals. They're going to the right spots on, on stage, and they're there to support us professionals because it's asked of them. They do it. Uh, it, it's, 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 the whole thing is just an inspiration, and I know it's an education for them. I'm a little jealous of them. I wish I'd had that opportunity <laughs> when I was their age. I feel like even when I was in college, I was thinking, gosh, if I only had an internship at a professional theater, and I could do that, what a boost that would be. And now I know kids who have done it like seven, eight years, my daughter included, and now my son's in the show for the first time, and that's very special for me. Um, I think Ron said something really lovely uh, about uh, inspiration and with regards to this story. And one of the things that I think is really important is that, you know, Scrooge changes his life at the end of this story without any guarantee that he's going to, that, that he's going to change those shadows that he sees as his future. He does it on faith. And I think that that's one of the reasons that, that we as a, as a society or as a country continue to come back to this story. Um, you know, and also inspiring just sort of in the, in, the, um, uh, in the mechanics of producing theater, the fact that teachers bring their students, uh, there's one school that leaves at four o'clock in the morning to be here to see a 10 o'clock show. Um, so what an amazing gift uh, for them to come to see us and for us to be able to share this story with them. And I think that's the really inspiring thing is the audience and the actors meeting each other and sharing this story together, especially at the holidays. And Kaylee, I think the folks you're talking about are actually coming from the Mars Hill School in Arista County, mm -hmm. which yeah. for a point of reference is about as far away from here as New York City. Wow. There are a lot of other people that are hugely involved with making this production happen. Behind us, you see a whole series of costumes that are being built and constructed specifically for this show. Every year, we have um, uh, people who are working day and night just stitching um, all of these pieces and bringing that magic to life on stage. It's a really large undertaking for the theater, and it involves a full staff of people that are working on both sets and costumes and lights to make it a magical experience for our audience. I think this year, there's been one thing that we've really found that's new, um, and it's really coming out of the cast that we have here. And that's that this year we've been exploring how um, rather than the black and white that often we see Scrooge as he's bad and then he turns good, that it's really, it's shades of gray and that there's a reality that make, it, it, his life makes sense. And Ron, if you could talk a little bit about what that is like and what you've been discovering, because I think it is something that's very different from what we've done in the past. Um, I, I've been discovering as we've been working on it that even though I've seen it so many times and it's moved me so many times, um, I expected it to be one way when I walked into rehearsal and it's changed for me and that uh, I was worried about like making him this grumpy old thing and not having enough time and I was just looking at it from some kind of director or an actor outside it saying, well he doesn't really have much time to establish the fact that he's really nasty and then all of a sudden the spirits are there and he's rebirthed and, and, and yet I found that in the early scenes over and over again I'm being shown my, my past and the pain in, 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 in my life as Scrooge. And it's just be a revelation to me that, that he is so human and the things that happen to him are so, so sad. And, and, and yet all these bad things added up to this person who's stuck in life. And what does it take to make you change? It's a gift for me to have been through the process with everybody here. Uh, it, it truly is. It's a great gift for the holiday season. Mm -hmm.